get back into this. Another day down. Still kind of exhausted, but get in here and knock this out. I just want to double check one thing here. There we go. I just want to uh, show this off really quick. Oh, look what we got it is Banshee's Super Evolution. Well, did they change this? Looks like they changed this background, although I haven't seen uh, Banshee Super Evolution in a, in a while, so. Could be my imagination. here really quick uh, but really quick I, I wanted to just show this for straw hat uh, specifically uh, I did I did respond in the comments but I want to show you as well because uh, I did try a curse build on one of the dimensional dungeons and it, it didn't it really didn't go well unfortunately but uh, it was, still was an attempt but usually what I will do um, and this goes with a lot of the astromon that I that I end up using but um, it just—it's it, kind of just a whole, a holistic kind of evaluation of the Astromon itself. So, for uh, Jiangxi here, you know, looking at uh, her abilities will play a, play that determination of what I use for for gems. But because I was using her um, in the, uh, like I said, the dimensional dungeon, I was just trying to get the curse off. I wasn't necessarily focusing on her attack. However, she has. Uh, that's what 8,000 attack so or excuse me 7,000 attack so but I was trying to keep her alive so I pumped her full of health I had just have her health uh, so I gave her one attack percent gem and then um, these HP percents uh, two HP percents on here so it it and then it comes down to uh, uh, other you know the other things uh, with the attack plus 20% because of the Gem of Valor set. But um, generally what you will do is for an attack Astromon is is depending on what their skills are and their crit rate or their crit damage percent. You might go attack percent and because her crit damage is, is already at 100%, you might try to boost her crit rate up with uh, a, a different one. But it, it kind of uh, varies. It varies from Astromon and Ast uh Astromon to Astromon. Uh, so always always double check the um, uh, the Astromon's abilities uh, beforehand going for it. But hopefully that kind of helps you um, look how to look at her. Because like I said, Curse unfortunately is not... It's, a, it's an okay ability uh, if you can stack it up. But the problem with Curse is it, because it doesn't get rid of resistances and whatnot, uh, it's not as good as Sap. If I had to, if I had to say something that could use another buff, it would be a hundred percent. It would be the, um, why is it still crafting? We still got 37 minutes. Uh, it'd be cursed to get on par with the, uh, sap damage that you can kind of get out. Just a, and that's just kind of a speculation because it does work, uh, for, um, uh, for some things that I've noticed, but a lot of the time it's, if you can go with a sap build, it seems like that's, that's the preferred method to use. But it's just kind of been a slow week for me. Uh, I haven't gotten around to do everything. Cause like I said, I had some, I just had some uh, life stuff to get done. So hopefully we can kind of get back to other, doing other content. Just like I said, I haven't had time to really be out farming, even for myself.
Let's see here, though. Let's throw Valkyrie in there. You've got full gems, right? Yeah. Let's throw Tina in there. Change it up a little bit for those. When I first, because uh, I was just thinking about it too on here. Um, and I know kind of, again, it's been a long day for me, so commentary is not, you know, going to be superb. But uh, the one thing about it, too, I just keep remembering it. And I still want to do it. Um, uh, Mini Tina here was the, the one of the Astromon that was coming out for the anniversary when I, uh, the year I came back to play the game. So I think that was the second year. And... I remember streaming on Twitch and I was going for a full a full team of mini Tinas because believe it or not mini Tina is actually a, a really fast clear uh, clear Astromon her her ability not only you know feeds everybody else's SP but um, my goal at the time was actually to make a full team of uh, mini Tinas to farm for the festivals um, when I started looking at you know again things the, all the things that kind of go into the capture festival. So once again, it, it comes down to how fast you're clearing and what stages you can do that efficiently on. And again, the two stages I pointed out are pretty much the, they're not the be all end all. There are other stages you can run, but they are the, the easiest uh, that I have found and that I use. But um, I just remember when I was streaming, some guy came in and was like, Holy crap! You've got a lot of Tinas. Like, yep, I plan on building them all and getting to getting to six stars. And it's just funny remembering that just now as I see her. And like, yeah, I still <laughs> haven't six starred them. Uh, all right. Let's mess with this team. Cause I still have all of them in there. And then when we had the, it wasn't this last year. I think it was the year before. When we could capture her again and a build or no it was last year we got the a bunch of I got a bunch of them through their soul stones hey <laughs> what did I say hey look we're just gonna hide our fire <laughs> every time man uh. well two stuns too bad so sad. And there we go. All right. Ouch. I, yeah, this one, this one kind of is a little bit of a shock shock to me don't know why that team would have lost against mine this one's pretty obvious this one is kind of this this double attempt here is kind of uh, uh, obvious uh, with the uh, this guy has uh, is that Gilgamesh I think that's Gilgamesh that's the uh, that's one Astromon that I know it would be nice to actually have dark Gil uh, Gilgamesh for um, clearing some content because I've seen I've actually seen other videos where oh, we got a capture that's how that's how out of it I am today um, I watched somebody using Gilgamesh and was like well that'd be nice if I actually had that Astromon but I don't uh, let's see we need cacti and we were doing this as well but yeah that's that's definitely one of those all those light and dark versions of the five stars eventually when when it gets down to it that's gonna be definitely painful because it's again one of one of my other goals besides all the super evolutions has always been to kind of complete the astro guide and i don't think i've done a too bad of job of that a lot of it is 
Um, so far, it's just kind of still the four stars. Um, four stars, uh, obviously five stars are the harder ones. And then it's going into uh, some of those the random light and dark ones that you have to summon. Uh, I'm pretty, I actually think I've got a nice chunk of uh, three stars done. Um, it really comes down to capture festival uh, Astromons, but uh, that I don't have completed. But I did want to double check one thing. Let's see, daily two more on there. Nez Pass, we got that. Grab this. While I'm on here, I want to double check because Mocha said something. And I didn't, I'm like, I'm usually good with remembering like the names of Astromons and things like that. Uh, I know I, I call my, you know, <laughs> I, I call like my Fenrir Fenrir instead of um, Wild Fang, etc. But again, it's all in the same, it's all in the same kind of context. But I wanted to double check something here. Let's go down here. Uh, let's see. St wow, I still don't have fire done for Kokomaru? What the hell? Let me get the, I'm slacking on that one. Maybe next time I do some decent summons and I have it, I'll save one and go catch, catch Kokomaru. Um... Ah, there you go. Okay, I thought it was this one. So Mocha had said either uh, Florentia or Pip, and I was like, who is Pip? And I was just trying to think. But yeah, yeah, Mocha, you might be right. I totally forgot about Pip. Pip would definitely be that, uh, definitely a spring one here. And actually, oh, well, didn't we get, I think we got Pip last year anyway. Was Pip, was Pip last year's new Astromon that we got? I'm thinking it was, it was last year we got Pip. Um, I don't remember, but yeah, I actually, I agree 100%. This one would be uh, uh, probably another good good one on there. So I, I'd say it's either going to be Pip or Florentia, definitely. So anyway, all right, uh, got that out of the way. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, sorry again, a little low energy today, but I'm exhausted. So uh, I will catch you guys in tomorrow. And I just want to say thanks for subscribing and thanks for watching. See you.